Jesse, thank you for making some time. Or as my mom better knows you, of course, um, Adam Chandler Jr. from All My Children. <laughs> Taking it way back, yeah. Way back. I didn't realize you got a daytime Emmy nomination for that role. Yeah, man. They, I was, uh, I got, I guess, nominated in '99 and 2000. I think it was two years back to back, and it was for. Uh, I can't even believe how long ago that was, but it was uh, for yeah, my performance on the show with with uh, all the actors that you, Susan Lucci and David Canary and all those guys. Yeah, it was that was a minute. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, do you miss the full time acting or no? Um, I mean, I, I do. I, I, I'm doing a lot of stuff. Actually, I'm doing a film uh, at the end of the, this month in Brooklyn um, with the guy who wrote Basketball Diaries. Called uh, It's called The Gonzo Files, and it's going to be a film I'm doing this year. And I'm going to do a lot more film stuff, actually, I, th I think, at, at the end of this album, at the end of the run. Gotcha. And, of course, you extended the run because we had Departure, and I, I spoke with you right before that dropped, and uh, now we got Departure Recharged. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Recharge is basically it's a you know part two of the album or just an extended version. And there's four new songs on it that I just finished writing earlier in the year, and um, it's gonna be uh, you know it's it's something for the fans who have been listening to the same songs for the last year, and it gives them something fresh. And one of the songs is actually the next single. It's called Body Language, and um, I'm actually just got official word today that we're releasing it in a couple weeks with T Pain. He's on the track with me, and um, it's a really fun joint, and I think it's gonna be a big summer song. So. Wow, that's awesome. You know, you weren't kidding around because I remember when we spoke, you called me from your house right before Departure dropped, and you wanted to go for that clean look. You wanted to go a little more rhythmic. And now T-Pain, Ludacris, how did the Luda cameo come about? It came, I mean, it went top ten. It was a big record for us and obviously, you know, for the rest of the country. And um, it was great. He, he really bought, you know, brought a lot to the, to the record, too. I got a BBM from a friend of mine, I think about a couple months ago, that you were partying at my alma mater of Syracuse University. Really? <laughs> yeah. Didn't expect to hear that, huh? In, in Syracuse? Were you at Syracuse University? Were you on campus or no? There was a Jesse McCartney sighting. Uh, I mean, years ago, I think it was maybe like three or four years ago, one of my buddies goes there. So he's graduating, actually, or he just graduated. I don't know if he's done yet, but um, I did go to a frat party in Syracuse at one point, like four <laughs> years ago. How was it? It was fun. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I expected to hear that one. Jesse McCartney right now on the Ralphie Radio Show. And you were kind of a late addition to this tour with New Kids on the Block. You know, they announced their, that they were going to extend their tour throughout the summer, and then it was and with Jesse McCartney. Um, th I guess they reached out to you and said, hey, or? Yeah, no, it was, it, like you said, a last-minute thing, and I, um, I was just deciding whether or not I was going to tour again this summer, and I probably wouldn't have if it wasn't, you know, for this tour. I think I was just going to stay home, work on some film and some TV stuff. But they called literally like two weeks before the tour and said, we want you out here. And I knew that I was going to be promoting a new single, so we, we decided to jump on, and it's going to be another month and a half of touring. It just seemed really appropriate, and, and I know that new kids are performing for big crowds, and their audience is definitely a stretch for me. It's a little bit of an older crowd, um, specifically older women. and uh, it's That's ever a bad thing, of course. Right. It's a good, I think, target. It's a good goal for me, and it's a good crowd for me to reach out to, to you know, to hear my music. Like, you just jet, you're like, you're, you're on stage, and you're here, then you're there, and, and, and no one's really seen you. Yeah, we actually, today was the first day, we actually all got to hang out for a minute. I got to see and talk to all the guys. The, we've done four or five shows together already, and I only got to meet two of them. I met Joey and... and uh, and uh, and John and <laughs> bouncing back and forth from the tour back to LA trying to work on different things and um, but it's gonna be nice we're gonna we're, I think in the next day off we'll probably have some time to kick it and hang out a little bit Jesse McCartney again departure recharged is in stores now gonna be touring with new kids on the block and uh, then we'll be seeing them on the silver screen and on TV and so on and so forth appreciate the time sir. Time.